In this video, you're going to learn how to add and manage users in WordPress. In WordPress, there are different types of users. So meaning people have different access to different things. So for example, right now, if I go to the users section here, by default, there is one user, which is you. You're going to be the administrator role. The administrator role is basically someone who has access to the whole WordPress. So you can do a lot, but you can also do a lot of damage with the administrator role. So you make sure that you either give it to somebody that you really, really trust, for example, your business partner and so forth. But if you only want to give somebody a limited role, you can actually do that. So if I click on add new, you can enter the username, the email, the first name, the last name, the website, and so forth. But what I want to do now is simply explain the different types of roles. So if we start at the top administrator, I just explained it is somebody who has access to the whole WordPress site. So if you just want somebody to simply, you know, edit, create posts and pages and so forth, then the editor is probably a role that you want to create. Let's say for example that you have a blog and you have people, other people who are managing your blog, but they manage certain sections. So in this case, you probably want to give them the editor role, which basically allows them to write post and pages, they can edit, they can reject, and so forth. The author role is somebody who can only write and create posts. And the subscriber is simply somebody who doesn't have access to editing the site at all. All they can do is, let's say for example you put up an article. A subscriber would be somebody who can subscribe to make comments and perhaps see password protected content or private content and so forth. And of course, lastly, a contributor can only contribute content. They cannot approve the content. So let's say, for example, that you have a editor who oversees the approval of the content and you have a lot of contributors who contribute content. Contributor could just cannot publish that content. So it definitely goes through a role of somebody else who edits, approves the content, or you can approve that as well as an administrator. So those are the user roles and you can get kind of get an idea of how you can add more users and have different people doing different things to maintain your WordPress site.